what we kept bumping into over and over and you know not dissimilar to an artist like Bob Dylan or to a visual artist or a painter like Picasso that he just was one of the most restless people that uh, anyone had ever met you know Tony Williams said he was one of the most easily bored people he ever met like he just could not he was incredibly uncomfortable with stasis. He had to be moving, he had to be creating, he had to be thinking of the next. You know, you look at Miles and it's like, new car, <laughs> new clothes, new musical style, sometimes new woman. Uh, he cycled through, he was like a shark that had to constantly figure out the next thing to do. And you listen to some of these ballads now, a lot of this stuff is coming out, you know, a lot of these things are being remastered and re-released and they don't cut off the ends so you can hear what's happening after the last note resonates. And, you know, you listen to some of these solos and he'll play these beautiful ballads, the most beautiful ballads you've ever heard. And that last note will be ringing and you hear the brushes on the snare. And as soon as it's over, he's like, play that shit back. I want to hear that again. You know, there's no, there's no reverie. He's not letting the moment sit there. And, you know, never, people aren't all looking around each other going, man, that was amazing. He's like, Play that shit back. I want next thing. I'm over that. Next thing. I'm already going to the next thing. 